Researchers at Canterbury University have come up with a new way of looking at things. They've created the country's first 3D multi-screen and say it has huge potential for use in education, in medicine and architecture. For architect Bill Gregory, this is a new perspective on his Wellington waterfront building. Uh, this is our, our most recent uh, model here. And it's one he believes could be extremely useful for other architects and urban planners. The ability to move around on a path inside the model or, or even move at will gives the group of people who are looking at it the, the ability to much more rapidly form an opinion about, the, about a proposal. Sure. Yep. With some fancy software, glasses and joystick, Vision Space combines three surround screens to produce 3D images. Unfortunately, viewing the 3D screens through the lens really doesn't do justice to what the system can do. At the moment, I'm diving headfirst into someone's chest cavity. The feeling's really quite unnerving. Being surrounded by screens gives the viewer a totally immersive experience. With this system, you can really feel like you're inside your data, inside the building or inside the patient's body or inside the molecule or flying over New Zealand. The HIT lab team are still surveying the landscape for possible applications for the technology. We're looking at architecture, we're looking at data visualisation, environmental sciences, um, biomedical, um, molecular biology, a wide range of sciences where you want to view and interact with data in new ways. The technology also has big potential for those who just want to have fun. Blair Norton, One News.